So the message, I, these are still praying, that's fine. The message I had this morning is one you've heard me speak about before, but I want to share for just a second, and then we're going to continue an altar call. Because I believe there's people here that need to hear this. In Exodus chapter 8, God is sending the plagues on Israel, or on Egypt. For over 400 years, Israel has been in bondage. For over 400 years, Israel has been in bondage. Now, I want you to catch this. No one that was in bondage started in bondage. They were born in bondage. So they didn't even realize that there was captivity. It's all they'd ever known. And Pharaoh, God sends frogs to the point to they're in the house, they're in the bedroom, they're in the bed, they're on the servants, they're in the on all of the friends. Frogs are on everything. Everything that applied to Pharaoh's life was being affected. Hear me when I say this to you. When you carry something in your life you're not supposed to carry, you are literally not only affecting your life, but everyone around you. And here's what God said. Pharaoh said, Moses, will you go to the Lord for me and ask him to remove the frogs? And I will let it go. I will let the people go. Moses asked God, and God said this. According to Moses' words, or according to Pharaoh's words, I will remove the frogs. I'll take them away. And Pharaoh said in response, Moses said, when do you want the frogs gone? Every part of your life is being affected. When do you want them gone? And Moses, or, and Pharaoh said, tomorrow. I want to live one more night in my addiction. I want to live one more night in my unforgiveness. I want to live one more night with this angry in me. I want to live one more night with all this garbage going on around me. I want to hold on to what the world has given me one more night. God said, I will release you. If you are a born again child of God, He wants you set free. And yet, when God's people are suffering needlessly because they will not give it to God. God said, I will release you from unforgiveness in your life. But you've got to give it to me. And people go, no, no, they did me wrong. I'm going to hold on to this forever. No, I was done wrong. Jesus was done wrong on Calvary. Amen. And he said, Father, forgive them. There are people in this room today that are holding on to things and you are physically <coughs> sick because of it. You are emotionally sick because of it. And God never intended for you to carry it. He asked you, when do you want me to let it? Take it away. And you say, I'm going to hold it one more day, Lord. I'm going to hang on to it one more day. One more day, Lord. One more day. There are people in this room that might even need to know Christ as your Lord and Savior. And you say, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. We live with guilt in our lives. We live with, I told them first service, I've gained 25 pounds that I lost back. I can wallow in that, I can complain, I can cry, or I can move on with life. We have to let God free us. We were never meant to live in this bondage, but yet we carry these things. Has anybody watched the news? For the past two years, two and a half years, they have attacked our president. Whether you like him or not, they're going to kill themselves because they won't let go. Church, I come today to tell you this. If you have something you're holding on to, it's not just you that it's killing. It's those around you. It's everything in you is struggling 
The frogs were everywhere. And Pharaoh said, I'm going to hang on to them one more night because I'm just not willing to let go. For some of you, it's not even sin. For some of us, it's just things we need to finish. We just need to finish. We've been waiting to do that. Waiting to do that. Waiting to do that. And we've been carrying this thing, this addiction, or this guilt, or this shame, or this hurt. And we're not going to let it go yet because something in us tells us we earned that thing. And God said, I want to set you free. I want to set you free. That's what salvation, that's what sanctification, that's what spirit baptism. You've carried this thing for too long. Too long you've been hurting. Too long the frogs have been there. Isn't it time to say, now God, now God, I want free now. I want free right now. I don't want to go home with this thing anymore. I don't want this thing in my life anymore. I want it gone. See, God sent me here today to tell you that you can be free. <coughs> and if you don't understand what that's like, and maybe I shouldn't share this, but I'm going to. You asked me Wednesday night why I never brought up my ex-wife when I talked about forgiveness. Because it's been that long since I've even thought about it. Because God said me free. Yes, it was a miserable time of my life. Yes, it took me forever. But Sterling, God set me free from it. I don't even have to meditate on it anymore. That's what He wants to do for you. The addiction that the enemy wants to keep bringing up, the failed marriage, the bankruptcy, whatever it is, the enemy wants to tell you you're not fit. He wants to hold you down. But God said, I came to set the captives free! If you want it more than you want what you're holding on to, God will take it from you. He will set you free. But not if you're doing this. God, take it. Take it, God. But I'm doing No, literally, take it, God. You've got to give it to Him. Not tomorrow. Today. Today. There is freedom in this house. I believe that with every fiber of my being. There is freedom in this house. If you want it. Father, I come to you right now. Lord, I don't always understand why you do what you do, but I know that you brought freedom here today. And I'm asking you to let one, two, a dozen let go. Let go and give it to you. To turn it over to you today and say no more. I don't want to wait till tomorrow. I don't want this mess anymore. I don't want this pain I feel anymore. Break the chains today, Lord. Meet the needs of your people. In Jesus' name. If you're one that's been holding on to something, maybe that's unforgiveness, I don't know. Maybe that's just grief. I, I don't know, but I'm asking you, I'm begging you as your pastor and your friend, turn that thing over to God today and let Him heal you and set you free. We're going to open the altar one more time.